Great everybody, what's happening? I just want y'all to see my new home defense setup. This is one of my AR9s here. Check this out. I, I had this 30 uh 4 power scope on here, but I'm like, man, it ain't enough. I went ahead and found me a good old uh 6 power. So I think I'm gonna rock that out now of home defense. I wanna make sure I can see a person's pupil in the event that you know I gotta defend my, my family. You dig? So, you know, y'all tap in. It's your man Mark, welcome to MD Ray, as I should say. Now, um, don't do this. Please don't do this. Don't do this. It, that is not good for you. Don't don't do that. Okay. Um <laughs> And I'm just being funny, but there are some people who actually think that might be cool. Or maybe of some use of Aquas Optic. It's not going to help you. It'll just help somebody at distance who's looking through your optic better identify you and shoot you in the eye. So, with that being said, please make sure you guys check me out. MD underscore ready on Instagram. Same thing on YouTube. Um, yes, yes, yes. It's that time to have that conversation, guys. For home defense, realistically, I did a series of home defense videos and different farms to use and their pros and their cons. Definitely check that out. Um, it seems as though uh, quite a lot of folks like my curry related videos and, excuse me, AR9 videos. So, this is my uh, Diamondback DB9. It's been my primary home defense farm for quite some time. Um, if you really want to know why I prefer a... Um, farm that you can have four points of contact and multiple points of contact besides just your both hands uh you know you can check out my videos and find out why i go in pretty great detail on the benefits of uh the ar platform versus having a handgun so let's get into it please make sure you guys like share and subscribe the sun is finally starting to come out it's a beautiful day isn't it wonderful saturday nice so do i not people use optics absolutely not is there something to be said about a person who's going to use a six power or like three to freaking three to what is it like three to nine or four power optic for home defense something to be said about that that's a bit much that is pretty that is a lot okay i don't i don't i don't think that that's conducive for home defense unless you know you just have a massive house but for the average, you know, uh, uh, home intruder and homes that are medium or average size, I think that having a red dot will probably do the trick. Red dot soft are awesome. Um, red dot, even at LVPO, okay? So on this, it's my 5 for 5 by 3.9, um, 4.5 inch barrel. I have a 1 to 4 power LVPO in here. I think that does great, you know, up close and, you know, I've shot this thing out past 100 yards and it does very well. And a 5 for 5 by 3 is a pretty consistent, um, pretty, pretty flat shooting uh, uh, cartridge. So, but I wouldn't choose that, okay? Even a red dot, right? Like on this 762 by 3 side charging um, AR-15 setup, I have iron sights on there. And they stay up because it's a home defense farm and it has a standard red dot okay i think that's more than enough but let me tell you what the problem is or what could be a potential problem batteries die let's say you don't have backup iron sights your batteries die you're in a pretty bad situation so realistically even with the lvpo you're not able to use standard flip of iron sights with the lvpo I tried it, it looks crazy looking. Even that one power, it doesn't look right. It's, it's not a perfect one power, it's just not, okay? It's like 1.2 or 1.5, but it says one, but it's like even 1.1, even having the iron sights back there. Some people just say, just have a crew release mount. I may not have time, because if I'm already in a situation, I'm already gonna have these 45 degree irons up, so I can just slightly cant it and do what I need to do, okay? So, you need to have backup iron sight, especially with a home defense farm. Some people say, you know, it's, it's in the past, it's not needed. Yeah, um, I don't know about that. Up close, you can just point shoot maybe, but um, I'm looking at being precise with attackers that may be 10 yards away maximum. I'm not going to say 10 yards. Let's say 
five to seven yards maximum, right? Me personally, I don't have to worry about batteries with these iron sights. I don't have to worry about twisting anything, turning anything on. This is sighted for 25 yards for me. More than necessary for home defense. I'm not telling you guys what to do. That's just my setup. I don't have to worry about any batteries, any buttons, any shake awake, any uh, sleep not working thing or whatever that may be. I pick it up, I turn my light on, and I go. I have sights, sling, and a light. SSL, if you want to call it. Slight, the sights, uh, sling, and a light. That's what I pretty much need. Could you get a night vision setup and all that good stuff so that you can have the upper hand or anybody potentially trying to harm your family? Yeah, you could. Um, it's not overkill, but it's not necessarily needed either. Um, for somebody who wants to get into defending themselves, home defense at a decent price, you get yourself a nice AR-9, AR-15. Uh, don't put a muzzle brake on there. Put a flash can or just leave the A2 uh, device on there. Get some iron sights, fixed preferably. A really nice white light and a sling. And you're good to go. That's my personal preference, guys. I'm not telling you guys how to set it up, but um, you can find yourself in a wacky situation with a three to nine power optic for home defense because uh, this is weird. But anyway, that's my setup. Those are my thoughts. I didn't mean for this video to go super long. Please make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Check me out on Instagram, mb underscore ready, YouTube, mb underscore ready. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. God bless you all. Take care, and remember to train. If you need consultation services, I offer that. Hit me up, DM me, um, text me, email me, whichever. Uh, if you're looking for the next Wearing Carry classes, HUL classes, Florida classes, DC, Wearing Carry, SPO, I got you. Hit me up. God bless. We're out.